Okay, trying a new camera angle because it is currently five o'clock in the afternoon and where my room is, the sunlight just beams straight through the window and it's just a whole mess. The, the lighting's awful. So we're having to improvise a bit, putting a light up on the up on the ceiling basically, but we are back with lighter link. You guys have probably seen these guys before. Did a video a couple months ago about them. But this time we've got the camper van and we've also got the Viking Village, which are honestly two of my own personal favorite sets. If you want to see a more in-depth unboxing, go look at the other video. It shows a bit more in-depth of what you get in each set. But for the Viking Village, it actually looks like there's a new light in here. It's like a long light strip. Which should be interesting to light up. Yeah, these are going to be sick. Then on to the camper van. Just, you know, same thing as before. Usual packaging. I've said this in the last video, but their packaging is top tier. It feels premium. It doesn't feel cheap at all. The reason why I chose the camper van was because the lights on the front are very iconic for the Volkswagen. It'd be interesting to see them lit up. And nah, these look sick. I'm looking forward to assembling these. But I reckon the plan for this shoot is to shoot the Viking Village back in the garage, which is what we did in the previous video. But I want to experiment and see whether or not these lights are good for outdoors. Obviously not in the middle of the day because you won't see them. But I'm thinking taking the caravan where I can take photos of a sunset. And with the big bright lights at the front, I reckon it would be a solid choice. So, so we're going to start with the Viking Village first and then we're going to move on to the caravan, which should be, it's going to be an interesting shoot because I've never shot these lights outside before. So let's give that a go. So I'm gonna film building the Volkswagen. We're taking this set to Mount Rea Pehu and around different locations in Taupo and it's always been a great set to photograph. So that's why I chose it because one, it's a, it's a moving set and also it'd be interesting to see what I can do with lights and also the set itself. So just to recap on what's in the box. So we've got our instruction kits. The instruction kit. Then we've got the lighting accessory kit. How to take care of our lights then. The lights. We've got the power bank, nothing too interesting, which comes with every set that you get. So we're gonna build this set right now. Let's go. Just from the headlights alone, this is already looking insane. Uh, I, I can honestly photograph it now and it's, it would look awesome, but we'll keep going and we'll get the inside done now. Okay, so I've just finished putting the lights into the caravan and man, I can't stress this enough. Lighting up your Lego sets is, is so sick. The camera does not do it justice. Like, I've almost had this set for seven years now and it has given it, no pun intended, a new light. Each light has its purpose. You've got the light for the driver's seat, you've got the headlights, the rear lights, and even for the little number plate. It's just, Lighterling just knows how to light these up. The cables are so satisfying to thread through the Lego pieces. It is a super easy process to follow. Like the instructions are just so clear. I think what we gotta do next is photograph this outside because this set is made to be put outside for Lego photos. I'm, that's, I'm just saying. So we're gonna test that out now. So I don't know how much of this you can see, but currently got the GoPro on driving to a particular location for sunset. Not 100% sure if it's going to be a decent location for the caravan. But what I'm looking for is like a gradient sky with the lights on. Hopefully we can get some good shots with these lights outside because this is definitely something new. You know, it's worth trying, you know, rather than having it inside all the time. Okay, so 
Unfortunately, I was not recording half the dialogue in the car, but basically to summarize it, we've come out to this location here where we've got the sunset. Then we've got the caravan set up here and I've just taken a few, obviously you're not gonna get the lights, you know, shining as bright as you could, but just from the test shots alone, it's already looking awesome. So we just gotta wait for the sun to go a bit down and then we should be able to get some dope lighting with the lighter link set. It's just looking awesome already. Like the lights just make this set look so sick. Hopefully this video still pans out well because I, I said a lot of stuff in the car now. I wasn't recording, but oh well. I don't know if you can see that, but I put the battery pack inside the back of the van so then you can't see it when I'm taking photos. But for a location, this is pretty good. See, that's the thing with Lego is that you don't need to drive all the way out to like beautiful locations because with Lego, you're not gonna see the background as much. You just need decent colors and a nice sky and then you've got your shot basically. I'm gonna take this back to the car and we're gonna wait a bit for the sun to go down a bit more. If you're watching the channel now, then you're gonna be seeing like all the, all the mistakes, all the mess ups, just trying to get used to filming because I'm more so used to photographing than filming, so. That's the joy of seeing these videos early, is you get to see the clunky, you know, bad filmmaking. But I enjoy doing it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, looks like the sun has just set. So this should be a perfect time to try and get almost the lights and also a nice gradient in the sky. I reckon this is gonna look mint. So I'll pop it down in the same spot and then just chuck. Oh, shit. Oh, it's breaking. Oh, no. There we go. Oh yeah, I can tell already that the lights are already looking brighter. So just set up the cam. I'm gonna set the ISO to 200. F4.5 uh, so we get most of the car in focus. I'm gonna try get some good shots. Focus. It's looking all right. I guess a tip for taking Lego car photography is kind of shoot the car the same way you would with a real car. So shooting front on photo. It's really awkward when you're taking photos of Lego and people start to rock up. I wanted to get this photo here as a really cool light. Make Lego models. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, that looks sick. I feel like I could not shoot this vehicle the way I am now. If I had no lights, this it wouldn't look the same at all. And it just wouldn't make for a good shoot. I would never think of shooting this car at this time if I didn't have the lights. I genuinely think it's such a good option for Lego photography. It just completely changes your photos. I think that was a pretty successful shoot. Definitely a unique shoot. Not used to shooting Lego photography towards the end of the day. We'll see what the photos look like when we get back and hopefully they turned out pretty good. It's actually now been two weeks later. Um, I had a whole bunch of uni stuff get in the way of making this video. And I also caught COVID, which was awesome. And I've only just now got the energy to finish this video. But looking back through the photos, my favorite shot is definitely the wide angle of the caravan just as the sun is setting. Got a nice beautiful gradient in the sky. And then you've got the nice little highlights on the rocks as well, which just adds to the image overall. And then as the sun went behind the horizon, we were able to get the headlights and the rear lights looking fantastic. Man, I couldn't be happier with these shots. I might not sound like it from my expression, but I'm pretty happy with the second time around with using lighter link i'm going to be leaving a link to lighter link's website if you want to pick up your own lights in the description below so check them out buy some of their sets you will not regret it that's another wrap on another lighter link video thanks again to lighter link for sending in through these sets again had a lot of fun photographing them and they are perfect display pieces in my room and that's it until the next video i guess i'll see you then